Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I am going to flip through slash review um, this workbook, the McGraw-Hill Junior Academic Series Word Builder Grade 1. Um, I know this is a really old curriculum just by the little figures because I know that they used to be on TV and now they're not anymore. But this workbook focuses on vocabulary, reading, and writing, um, as you see. We flip through, we flip to the back and it just shows us, you know, the series of workbooks that they have. This book cost two sixty three at the time, really, or two ninety nine, really cheap. Okay. Um, excuse me. I will be moving a little bit my tripod because I just don't like the way that it looks. Let's move this away. Um, so let's get started. Um, I was going to say something and I totally blanked out. Oh, okay. The reason why they're not stuck to the book is because I scan all of my workbooks. I make them into PDF for future children. Um, so that's why. That's why they're not in the book. So what this workbook covers, <clears throat> like I said, is a word builder, vocabulary, reading and writing. It focuses, focuses on ABC order. Then it has a review. So it has a review every time it ends a specific topic. We have alphabetical order. We have progress check, guided words, antonyms, synonyms, homophones. Um, we have endings, ending and ed and ing. Base words and endings. Ending s and es. Ending er and est. Plural s and es. We also have adding S's, um, compound words, contractions, prefixes, suffixes, syllables, um, etc. This workbook um, has a lot, a lot of review in it, but it doesn't have review where it's like, it's not a spiral review, it's more of a like, a really introduction, like a mastery, but not really mastery um, workbook. Let me lower this. And by that I mean that when they review antonyms, they won't review it later on. So, if you guys want to see what this reviews, there you go. Um, here's the first lesson. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. So, this one goes over ABC order. It explains what they want the child to do in these exercises. Here's another ABC order. Another ABC order. And here's a review. Review. We got a progress check, so. Okay. This is what they want the child to do. Then we have alphabetical order, so put words in alphabetical order. Sorry about that. That's the fire department or the cops, I don't know. Um, here we have more alphabetical order, more alphabetical order, and then we have review. Here we have a progress check, guided words. It explains it a little bit. It doesn't go too in-depth on explaining it. Here we have antonyms, more antonyms. And I will be using this with the kids um, when they are in first grade as a supplement for our language arts curriculum. The kids are familiar with a lot of things in here, so they can do this even now, but I'm not going to introduce it now because we already have a supplement for language arts. We have synonyms, more synonyms, homophones. And it's colorful, you know, it has a couple little, like, anim animation, I mean, illustrations here. So it's a little colorful, it's not black and white, um, if you were wondering. If that's something that your kids don't like, they don't like black and white work, then this will be pretty good, because, you know, it's a little colorful. Here we have review. We have here progress check.
And then we have uh, ending ED and ING. We have another ending in ED and ING. Base words and endings. Oh, sorry, I didn't say this one. This is ending S and ES. More of these ending S and ES worksheets. One more. Then we have ending in ER and EST. For some reason, I prefer like the old curriculum like this, like, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, the Junior Academic is a really old curric, a really old TV show, and McGraw Hill is not really a famous, you know, publishing company at the moment. I don't know if they're gonna if they have anything new, but I haven't heard anything new about them, and I think like these are like what they used to do in schools or homeschools used to use in the past. So, you know, they're really, really good um, workbooks. I know they have a lot, and I believe you can find them in eBay and Amazon. I don't know where my aunt got this. So if you are wondering where you can get this, I'm pretty sure you can look for them in eBay or Amazon or in random book uh, online bookstores. Here we have ending R, ER and EST and another review. This is a progress check. Here we have plural S and ES. Plural S and ES again. We have another plural S and ES. So it has about three, I believe, three or four worksheets for each lesson that they're teaching. And then it has a review and then it has a progress check. Here's the review. And here's the progress check. This is adding S. Here we have another adding S. And another adding S we have the review so okay so there's three worksheets and then we have review and then we have progress check progress check um, here we have the progress then we hit compound words um, compound words again I'm going to be doing one worksheet a day with the kids when I do work on this workbook with them. Here we have the review for compound words and the progress check for compound words. Here we have contractions. Another page for contractions and another. <clears throat> Sorry about the birds. Here we have the review for contractions and the progress check for contractions. Right? Yeah. Next is the prefixes. The lesson is prefixes. Here's a little zoom in of how they explain prefixes to the students. The second page for prefixes and the third page okay i'm gonna go a little quick here we have suffixes suffixes i think that's what it's called suffixes oh sorry we have the review here we have syllables and the progress check for i believe syllables as well and then we have the answer key here so it has a couple of pages so you don't have to buy a separate teacher's manual or anything like that. Here it has everything. And back here, it just has the other workbook series that this um, series brings. Or you can buy, not brings. So there you go. So if you're interested in it. So if you guys 
will like a PDF of this workbook. I did make a um, PDF scan of all of my workbooks, but if you like this one specifically, let me know in the comments down below your email or hit me up on Instagram, ECA homeschool underscore, and I can send you um, this PDF for this workbook for word builders if you guys will like it. Um, I guess you can see, I don't know whose number this is, so don't worry about it being private. Been there since I opened the book. So workbook features and parents can help and other information here. And that's it. So if you guys would like, again, this workbook, just hit me up on Instagram or comment down below that you like it and your email, and I can send it right to your email, the PDF. Um, if you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this workbook, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to answer as quick as possible. Um, if you guys enjoy this video, comment down below what other kind of videos you guys want me to make. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.